as the seasons change, I'm planning our first vacation since about 2019. Hard to believe, but I've never owned an iPad or a tablet until now. Traveling usually means packing a laptop, bulky power adapters, a mouse, which is why the new iPad Air 5 couldn't have come at a better time. With its powerful M1 chip, a beautiful 10.9 inch liquid retina display, all while remaining ultra lightweight. As tablets become more powerful, packing light and minimal becomes a possibility and a priority. Especially when traveling, I'm gonna need a well-built iPad case with versatility. Right now, I'm using the Moft Float. It has multiple standing positions, stable, portrait, and float, where the stand extends, allowing the screen to be slightly elevated toward your eye level. A drawback is that there's no front cover protection, but it has all-around edge protection. Thin and relatively light, all things considered. It's well-designed, a wide range of viewing angles, and fully compatible with the Apple Pencil too. There is an option to add a protective case for the Apple Pencil. It has an outer magnet which allows it to attach for convenience. Not something that everyone needs, but nice to have. Moft also offers this mini folding keyboard, which I definitely need. Tactile keys are a plus. I personally prefer the built-in trackpad on the right-hand side, and it is iOS compatible, so I can perform all the shortcut gestures, swipe, scroll, and others without having to touch the screen. This keyboard is a bit compact for larger hands. However, for me to send a few emails or shortcuts, it is quite comfortable. I would typically lower the stand to the bottom position for more stability when using the pen or editing and elevate it when just typing or watching videos. Power can be scarce when you're traveling. That's why I will always bring backup. This is the Anchor Mag Go, also a multi-use device. It's a MagSafe charger for my iPhone, as well as a stand and power bank to charge other devices. This sleek 3-in-1 design is nice to have without taking up too much space. I will primarily be using this for top-up situations, so don't expect it to charge all your devices from this small bank. From time to time, I browse Skillshare to improve my video making and editing skills. It is also a great place to find tips and tutorials like interior design. Skillshare is a platform that provides online classes from experts around the world. Yes, there may be free content on YouTube and other platforms, but for a more structured approach, Skillshare provides curated content geared specifically towards learning. The first 1,000 users to sign up in the link below will get one month free, premium membership, no obligation. Grams28 sent me this amazing leather brief that fits up to 16 inch laptops. This leather bag has a luxurious and upscale look and feels amazing. Made from Italian full grain leather, inner lining with practical pockets for just about everything, including air tags. I appreciate the padded outer layer designed to protect electronics, which isn't obvious when looking at it. Everything about this just feels luxurious. Their Apple Essentials case pairs nicely with the bag, compact yet large enough to fit all your mobile essentials in a leather package. Even though they offered to send this to me for review, I've been eyeing their products for a while now and glad I finally had the opportunity to give it a try. I bring other small devices such as my earbuds from Status, which has great sound that I enjoy. Much easier to bring than headphones for travel and work. My SSD hard drive, which I keep a copy of my full desktop backup aisles if I need it, both of which take up next to no space whatsoever. I can say that the iPad Air 5 can handle all the intensive apps flawlessly, including editing in Adobe, but it is not without its limitations. I will go through just a few of the business and productivity apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. As an online business owner, being able to access Shopify and Amazon Seller Central are a must. The mobile apps for these platforms are still lacking many of the full features and functions, so I turn to use the web browser for full desktop functionality and it works very well. The larger display makes it possible to get the same desktop feel and features such as creating detailed inventory, shipments, and orders as I do on my workstation at home. Whereas a smaller form like the iPad mini or the iPhone would not suffice. For photo and video editing, I use Adobe Cloud to sync all my photos and video files that I'm currently working on, so that I have the most updated files on both my iPad and my home computer. Adobe Premiere Rush is the app version of the Premiere Pro, which syncs with videos on your phone and desktop using Adobe Cloud. 
Lightroom requires the use of creating a sync catalog, which is very easy as well. Other productivity apps that I use are Asana to keep track of specific tasks for my assistants, Draft for making quick notes, and Notion and Mila Note for YouTube creation. Workload during trips or travel is expected to be minimalistic, so having a smaller workstation while on the go is the way of the future. Although I do wish for full desktop functionality in this small form someday, for now, this is a balanced, minimal solution for me in the meantime. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts on minimal travel workstation solutions. I've included links and discounts to some of the items in this video below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.